So this topic is based on economies of scope. It can be found in the AQA um, A-level business studies specification for Unit 9, but it's also uh, found within um, economics as well. So economies of scope is when a firm gains efficiencies from producing a wider variety of products. It makes it cheaper to produce a range of products together than to produce just, each, just one on its own. So often this is the case when a business owns a lot of enterprises or they've got a massive product portfolio. If you think, for example, Coca-Cola, they own lots of different branded drinks. If you think about the likes of uh, Coke Zero, think about uh, Coke Life, think about Coca-Cola, uh, Coke Light, uh, Fanta, Sprite, all of those drinks is so much cheaper to produce all of them um, because they've got the facilities, they've got the technology, they've got the capital goods. And therefore, instead of producing one on its own, they'll produce them all together and then distribute them to the shops as different products. So if we think about this uh, diagram here, uh, you can have a look at this. It. It's different to economies of scale because economies of scale relates to the average unit cost in terms of output. This looks at the cost per enterprise based on the number of enterprises. So what I mean by enterprises, is it, it can relate to different products as well, as I've just given the example of Coke. So as the, um, as the number of enterprises grow, okay, so I'll just highlight this. As the number of enterprises grow, the cost falls, okay? So in other words, the more enterprises you have, the cheaper it is to produce uh, for each enterprise. So some other examples for you is think about the company Kleenex. Kleenex uh, sell tissue paper. But what they've done is, uh, again, they've achieved economies of scope through the diversification of it's just simple tissue paper. They've expanded the, the, the product line to lots of different ways. Um, and, and again, they've used the same, the same materials slightly different maybe based on the, the type of um, tissue it is but they've used the same capital goods they've used the same factories the same infrastructure everything they've used is the same for every product and therefore they're utilizing these capital goods much more effectively and much more efficiently so this is just like a visual clue just to tell you about all the different ones so for example man size original um, all of these they're not going to be produced separately they're all going to be produced together so it makes it much more effective because of the use of the capital goods another good example which is a recent example again with, with james dyson they, they're very good at diversification i think our economies of scope is definitely a benefit of um, diversification um, so or even conglomerate mergers and acquisitions so they're investing 2.5 billion on radically different electric car but if you think about all of dyson's um all of their products you could argue, for example, look at the functional areas and look at research development. They'll be just not investing in one company, uh, sorry, one product. They'll be investing in all the products. They'll be, uh, they'll be carrying out R&D for all of their products so they're making much more effective use out of that department, out of that functional area. They might even use the same capital goods depending on the product.